I'm so embarrassed by Robert Munch. Andrew said his mom, "Let's go to the mall. You need some new shoes." No, said Andrew. You always embarrass me when we go to the mall. You always say you're not going to embarrass me, and you always do. So no, I am not going to the mall. I promise not to embarrass you," said his mum. "Ha," said Andrew. But he went anyway because he really needed to get new shoes. Just at the door to the mall, Andrew's mother whispered, "Oh, Andrew, you didn't comb your hair." So Andrew's mother spit on her hand and patted Andrew's hair till it was all flat. Ah! I yelled, Andrew, spit! Mommy spit on my hair at the mall. Very embarrassing. Oh dear," said Andrew's mom. I, I am sorry about the spit. I, I keep forgetting how big you are. Don't worry. I, I will be very careful and will not embarrass you again. Ha!、Ah, said Andrew. So Andrew and his mom went walking down the mall, and Andrew saw his aunt. Please, please," said Andrew. "Don't say hello to my kissy aunt." Oh, Andrew said his mom. I have to say hello. So Andrew's mom said hello. And Andrew's aunt gave him a big hug and a large wet kiss that left lipstick all over his face. Quack! Yelled Andrew. Lipstick hugs and kisses. Lipstick hugs and kisses at the mall. I think I'm gonna die. Andrew hid up a tree. Andrew's mum talked to his aunt for about three hours, and then she said, "Andrew, where are you? Don't get lost. Why are you up in a tree? I am definitely going to get lost if I don't stop getting hugs and kisses." Said Andrew. "Hugs are nice," said his mum. "Quack," said Andrew. They walked some more, and Andrew saw his teacher. "Please," said Andrew. "Please, please, please, do not let my mum say hi to my teacher." But his mum said, "Hello, Andrew's teacher. Andrew says you are his best teacher ever, and we are so happy that he got you for a teacher. And would you like to see some of Andrew's baby pictures?" Ah, yelled Andrew, "Baby pictures!" Ah. Andrew said, "His mum, stand beside your teacher. I am going to take a picture." Andrew ran away. His mum found them and said, "Andrew, wh- wh- why are you hiding behind a trash can?" "Baby pictures," said Andrew. "You showed baby pictures to my teacher. Very embarrassing. You promised you were not going to embarrass me." "Okay, okay, okay," said his mum. I- "I'll be very careful, and I will not embarrass you any more. I'm sorry. I'm sorry." "Look," said Andrew. There is Taylor J from my school. How about I stay with Taylor J and you go shop by yourself for a while? Good idea," said Andrew's mum. Taylor J said, "Andrew, I am going nuts. My mum is embarrassing me all over the place. I'm glad you're here, so my mum will leave me alone." Maybe you should not be so glad," said Taylor J. "Here comes my mum." Taylor J's mum came up and said, "Taylor J, do you want me to buy the pink underpants or the yellow underpants?" Ah! I yelled, "Taylor J, underpants in a boy's face!" Andrew and Taylor J ran across the mall and jumped into a trash can. After a while, their mums came by and knocked on the trash can. Andrew said, "His mum, why are you in the trash can?" "I'm here because I'm so embarrassed," said Andrew. "Me too," said Taylor J. "I don't believe it. Underpants and a boy's face." "Now, now," said their mums. "You're just too sensitive. You should not let things bother you so much." "Okay," said Andrew and Taylor J. "Then this won't bother you." They jumped out of the trash can, ran into the middle of the mall, and yelled, "If our mums didn't shave their legs, they'd look like a gorilla!" Both mums yelled, "Ah!" and jumped into a trash can. Andrew and Taylor J knocked on the trash can, and their mums yelled, "How could you embarrass us so?" Well," said Andrew and Taylor J, 
We had good teachers.